and again. Whew. Oh. Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you my gear. That sounds bad. No, not that kind of gear. This kind of gear. So, I'm going to talk about my guitars. I'm going to do a whole series of showing you my stuff. No, that doesn't sound any better. My gear. Um, and I'm going to start with my number one guitar, which is an Ingve Strat. I'm not going to show you every individual guitar because I have two of these. Uh, I have one with a maple fretboard, but that's over at the doctor's right now, and it's not as good as this one. Uh, so I'm not going to show you that at all. You can see it in some more video or other where I play. I think I had it in the Bolero and Ravels, for instance. Um, so, my Ingve Strat. Why is this my favorite guitar? Well, there are many reasons. First of all, I was really lucky person when I bought this. I bought it second hand at the local music store. Um, a local guy who buys guitars and then doesn't like them and sells them or trains them in for something else had bought this. Had it for half a year. It was in mint condition. He swapped it for something else and I got this really cheap. And then I went to my trusted friend who also builds guitars for me and repairs my guitars, who's a guitar uh, repair man. Uh, he had a look at this and said, do you know what? He didn't speak with that accent. He's actually from ex-Yugoslavia. I can't do the accent. He said, do you know what? This is worth, uh, the wood in the neck is worth more than the actual retail price of this guitar. And I said, uh, really? Is that so? And he said, You lucky bastard! You lucky, lucky bastard! They must think the sun shines out of your ass. Um, so I'd just gone and bought myself a guitar, not really knowing what I was buying. Basically bought it because I loved Ingve Malmsteen. And I wanted to try it. Um, I'd always wanted to have one. And it just so well, just so turned out that it was a really good individual. Now, it's probably been built for uh, the German equivalent of NAM, which is in Frankfurt. So it's been a show piece guitar there, and then it somehow ended up here. And uh, it's just great. I've had other Ingve Strats, none of them as good as this one. That's not to say they were bad, just not as good as this. Now, because this is so good, I've retired it from live use because live my guitars can take knocks sometimes. Um, but so I, that's why I have another one just so that I have something to use live. Uh, anyway, this is like Ingve, tuned down half a step and it's stock. It has the scallop thing. It has the DiMarzio HS3 pickups. I've swapped those in my other ones to the Seymour Duncan YJMs because I like those more. Uh, I haven't gone around to doing it on this one because somehow this is just so special I don't want to mess with it at all. Stock bridge, nothing. has the brass nut which is great for open string stuff and uh, it has the fender uh, tuners which I like apart from this one because the E string sometimes slips out and that's annoying uh, now this was the first guitar that I bought that had scallops. It was the first time I tried scallops. Now, if you don't, if you haven't tried scallops, uh, I'm not sure if I recommend it because it can get expensive. 
Uh, I had to do. I had to have scallops made on most of my guitars. I haven't messed with a couple because of various reasons, but it's really great. It feels so much better than a regular guitar, and it has nothing to do with speed. <laughs> Uh, it has everything to do with uh, feel, bends and vibrato. And that's the essence of any guitar player's tone for me, is bends and vibrato. Uh, why strats, you might ask? There are other great guitars out there. That's true. That's absolutely true. Um, I like the feel of a Strat, first and foremost. Um, the, personally, the neck on this one is great. Uh, I've had other guitars made with the measurements from this. I used to have an, old, uh, an older Ingve Strat, the one with the small headstock and the really fat neck. Didn't like that. Um, although it was a good guitar, so I sold that one. Uh, I've had a couple of Ibanez gems, great guitars, especially the, the floral, floral, floral pattern one. The neck was a bit too thin. Um, so that's one reason. I, I, I've tried Les Pauls, I don't like the feel of a Les Paul. I've tried really good Les Pauls. And they're, they can be great guitars, not knocking Les Pauls, it's just not for me. Uh, I like the tone controls and what you can do with a whammy bar, you can get Jeff Becky type stuff. Oh, wait a second. And then I don't have the whammy bar set up properly for in this guitar. You can do all that kind of stuff. And I really like the single coil sound. Now these are uh, stacked humbuckers so that one of the coils, if I've understood this correctly, might be that I haven't since I'm, when it comes to technical stuff, I'm a bit like, I don't understand what's going on. Um, but they're called stacked humbuckers, which means that uh, it's basically a single coil and another single coil, but only one is active. The other uh, cancels all kinds of hum, because n with normal single coils, you can get all kinds of funny <laughs> noises from bad electricity or something. Um, not with these, so they're there's nothing there. And I like the sound of them. Uh, it's nicely round enough, it cuts through really nice, it sings, um, it doesn't buzz too much like certain humbuckers can do, especially in combination with certain amps. Uh, just like them. Sound like this. <laughs> And even when you take a chord, something like that, this, which is a G major with a C on the bottom, uh, you can you can hear the different notes because sometimes with humbuckers you, it just becomes mush. So that's basically it. Standard stock, everything regular stock, Fender, Ingve Malmsteen, Stratocaster. Bayer almost the perfect guitar for me. Um, there are a couple of modifications I've made on 
my other strats uh, that I really like. So you can check that out in another video. Anyway, um, take care. I hope you like me showing you my gear and I'll show you my gear again in another one. <laughs> take care. Bye.